So up until now, I've just been investing random amounts into my trading 212 account throughout the month. I might have done £50 here, £250 there, £100 here. There's never been any rhyme or reason for these amounts I'm depositing. But today I've decided, now that I want to focus more on my dollar cost averaging strategy, that I'm actually going to set up what's called recurring payments. So I'm going to be investing my money more frequently. And to do that, I think what makes sense for me is if I deposit money automatically into my Trading212 account. So I'm just going to take you through how you do that within Trading212 in case you guys are also interested in maybe doing a similar thing. So we'll go ahead and open up the Trading212 app here on my iPhone. We'll wait for that to connect. So we'll head over to the account page and then we will click on manage funds. And as you can see right now, if I go into my deposit schedule, there's currently nothing available because I've not set up a deposit schedule. So that's what I'm waiting to do just now. So to set a deposit schedule up in Trading212, you just click on deposit funds. And you set the amount you would like to deposit. So for just now, I've decided with how things are looking for me at the moment, I'm going to be doing £350 a month. And I'm going to set that up so it recurs monthly on the 15th of each month because the 15th is actually when I get paid from my job. And we'll click set. So recurring on the 15th of each month, £350 will be deposited into my Trading212 account from my bank account. Click confirm and click pay. And there we go, account successfully funded. The current payment has been set up and there comes an email now saying it's all funded successfully. So a recurrent payment has been set up, £350 every month on the 15th. To access your deposit schedule, go to the Manage Funds menu. So let's just check that again. And there we go, deposit schedule, £350 on the month, every month for on the 15th. So next deposit, even tells you here, next deposit is due in 38 days on the 15th of July 2020. I'm not too sure why it's not going to be doing it this month, which is actually June. Maybe it skips the first month you set this up. Because I was expecting that there to say the 15th of June 2020. Um, but yeah, maybe it sets up like a month in advance or something. But yeah, that's basically how you do that. So maybe that's something you want to look to do. It's just a way of further automating and taking less thought and decision into in the whole investing, my investing journey. So if the money automatically gets put into my Trading212 account, I don't have to think about going and depositing money in. It takes out of my current account, so I don't need to worry about that money going elsewhere. Obviously, make sure everything else is taken care of. Payments need to be done, all your bills, etc. But I'm happy for £350 every month on the 15th to go into my Trading212. So that's what we're going to be doing there. And like I say, this helped me focus more on my whole dollar cost averaging principle strategy sorry and we're going to be looking at that in a few future videos possibly if um, this is your first time seeing any of my videos and if you're interested in investing or using trading 212 in general i'll put a link in the description of this video so you can check out a few others um, but a bit of background i've just started investing since the beginning of april using trading 212 so just as this whole lockdown situation happened here in the uk i've been looking into investing as a means of growing my value in my money um so yeah check out my other videos see what you think and if you're interested please leave me a comment click like click subscribe really appreciate it just hit my 200th subscriber today so i must be doing something right so thanks again guys appreciate all the support and we will see you in another video